Today we've got the Porsche Cayenne Turbo S. This is the e-hybrid version, which has got a lot of power. It's got just under 700 horsepower, but it's also got the electric power as well, which helps this car propel it from zero to 60 in a brisk 3.5 seconds. Now, in terms of the color scheme of this car, it comes in this very beautiful, it's like a silverstone gray, which has got little speckles in the light. Obviously, you've got your lovely latest technology, such as the beautiful LED matrix lights. We'll get into more detail on the inside of the car a little bit. So when you compare this in terms of sizing, I'll probably say it's around the size of a, because it's a coupe, it's not your normal four wheel drive. You do lose some space in the back. That's something which is to be expected. We are going to do also a lovely cold start as well. It sounds pretty good. It's got the four liter that we know from the Audi RS6 and it pulls as well. So yeah, make sure you guys keep watching and also like the video as well and subscribe. Cheers, guys. happening cars i do it's your boy and i'm back again i can't believe i'm back to making car videos it's been the probably I think six months give or take so we've got this lovely beautiful uh porsche this is the cayenne turbo s this is the e-hybrid which means it's got well over 700 horsepower and this thing is beautiful i know there's a new refresh one the new facelift one but nonetheless this is still beautiful you've got the heads up display you've also got this lovely mixture of futuristic as well as analog system so you've got your buttons here which is quite refreshing as nowadays everything is just becoming screens so it's nice to always have these proper buttons here so you can control your inputs for your bluetooth as well as your voice and volume knobs and you've also got this lovely wide screen over here which is a bit too dark for my liking to be fair i'd prefer if it has some nice bright colors but it's still very easy to use it's user friendly so that is your different driver modes there. So you've got your e-power, sport, hybrid, and also your individual as well. And then the exhaust button as well. Even though this car is designed to be green, but it also retains that Turbo S, that sports type of driving. And also what I like about this car, as you can see the shape of the car there, this is the coupe, which means it's very sporty. So you do kind of sacrifice a bit of that space in the back there for your headroom, for all your six footers, or six feet people you're going to struggle if you're above for your headroom um but then also you've got this beautiful massive big center console which has got these lovely controls here so these are haptic feedback so when you press these you get that like clicky effect so we'll just turn the volume down and how push is that null effect volume button there then you've also got obviously a gear shift there which is nice and sporty you've got this big massive cup holders which is nice to see you've also got a 12 volt socket which is rather quite outdated i've got to say then you've also got your clock here 
which is fantastic. Heads up display on this, I've mentioned that already. So with this car, it is finished off in this gloss black, or is it piano black? Piano black, I beg your pardon, or slash gloss black. Then you've also got this aluminium finish as well. In terms of quality, you do feel like you're sitting in something quite expensive. You've also got a very expensive audio system as well. Then you've got these lovely bucket style seats, which hug you as well. When you're going through those country roads, then you've got this Turbo S. Um, then you've got this deep, 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 deep center. So I, can't even, I can't even talk, I forgot how to do reviews. So with the sound control, it's called the Bearmister. Uh, they tend to do bowls or bang on a listen, but it's nice to see that as well. Um, but yeah, guys, this is my first review of a car in quite a long time. So uh, please bear with me. What do you guys think? Comment down below. Then you've got your controls here as well. The only thing which is missing, I think, for me is the ambient lighting. I would love to have ambient light. I think that would be a nice feature to have, if I'm honest. But apart from that, yeah, it's a beautiful car. It's for sale, guys. Get in touch with these guys at Lucas Premium. I love the details in the description box down below. Thanks for watching. Peace out.